Hi friends, today's recipe is a thick creamy soy yogurt that sets like a charm without any yogurt maker. It's delicious and costs a fraction of the price of store-bought vegan yogurt. We only need two ingredients, soy milk and some kind of starter. The process is much simpler than you think and I'll be sharing a few key points for successful yogurt every time. Once you get the hang of it, you may never buy dairy-free yogurt again. It's Tinuja here from Vegan Lovely. Welcome to our lovely kitchen where we cook up simple, delicious veggie meals. I've in fact already shared this recipe a few weeks ago on the blog at veganlovely.com. The direct link to the printable recipe is in the description. I thought you might appreciate a video to help you along with the step-by-step -step process. I'm starting off by placing some dried soybeans to soak in plenty of water for about 8 to 12 hours. This is to make the soy milk. Homemade soy milk has a much higher protein content and contains nothing but soybeans and water. These are crucial for successful soy yogurt. Check the blog post for a few good quality store-bought soy milk options. Soaking the beans make them more digestible as a lot of the gassy substances are leached into the water. After 8 to 12 hours, drain all the water and rinse the beans. Then blend 1 cup of soybeans with 2.5 cups of fresh water for about 1 minute in a regular blender or 30 seconds on a high speed one. You can in fact use the same process to make almond or cashew yogurt for a soy free version. To strain the mixture, I line a jug or bowl with a piece of fine muslin cloth. You can also use a nut milk bag. Then I find it easier to pass the mixture through a strainer first to remove the coarser pulp. This leftover pulp, which is known as okara, can be used for other recipes like burgers or cookies. Bear in mind that this okara is from raw uncooked beans. So whatever you make with it, it will have to be properly cooked or baked. Once the coarse pulp is strained, just close the cloth or bag with the remaining pulp and squeeze the rest to extract the maximum milk. Now just repeat this process with the rest of the beans. Save the okara and freeze it until needed. Some of you have been requesting the recipe for making okara tempeh. So I'll be sharing my method for this sometime in the near future. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new here and enable your notifications if you don't want to miss the video or any of our future videos. The soy milk that has been extracted is raw and needs to be cooked before consuming. So place it in a saucepan and heat it on medium temperature for about 12 to 15 minutes. Stir occasionally to prevent the milk from scorching. The heat will denature the protein and this allows the starter culture to grow and thicken the milk properly. You will start to see some skin forming on top of the milk after some time. This is known as bean curd skin, tofu skin or yuba. It is sold as fresh or dried in Asian grocery stores and it's pretty delicious. After about 15 minutes, turn off the heat and remove the bean curd skin. Save it for other recipes, like you can just add it to tofu scrambles, or we also have a couple of recipes on the channel. Check the description for the links. Now the milk is ready and we can make yogurt. The milk should be at around 42 degrees Celsius to activate the starter. If you don't have a thermometer like me, you can test the temperature with touch. Make sure your hand is really clean. You should be able to hold your knuckle in the milk comfortably for at least 8 seconds. The milk should feel warmer than the body, but not hot. The yogurt bacteria will die at temperatures higher than 50 degrees Celsius. For the starter, I'm using the powder from 4 probiotic capsules that you can find at your pharmacy or online. I've left some links on the blog post for a couple of options and the one that I'm using. I've had consistent and excellent results with these probiotic capsules. Open each by pulling it apart and sprinkle the powder onto the milk. Stir and make sure the powder is completely dissolved in the milk. Now pour the milk into really clean or sterile pots. You can sterilize the pots by boiling them in water 
or by baking them in the oven for about 10 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. Place the lid on and close them tightly. Leave the pots for about 8 hours in a warm place above 30 degrees Celsius. I usually place them in the oven with the lights turned on. You can also use a crock pot or electric pressure cooker if there is a yogurt setting. After about 8 hours, the yogurt will be fully set and you can transfer it to the refrigerator to chill before consuming. This yogurt sets really well and is quite firm. If you like more of a creamy yogurt, you can whisk it into a smoother creamy texture. The first batch of yogurt will be really tangy. It is more to create a starter. So once you've made your first batch of yogurt, you can now use about half cup from this batch as the starter for your next batch. You don't need to keep using the probiotics capsules. Just stir in the yogurt with the milk. Make sure the yogurt is not cold when you do this. You can leave it for a couple of hours at room temperature before adding it to the milk for your next batch. Like this, you'll have an endless supply of homemade yogurt if you save a little from the previous batch. And the taste and texture will improve with each batch as the culture develops. I hope you'll enjoy making your own yogurt at home. As mentioned before, you can find the printable recipe on our website along with some additional tips. If you give this recipe a try, send us a picture and tag us on Instagram at veganlovely, hashtag veganlovely. If you've enjoyed this recipe, a thumbs up or a comment is always welcome. Also, share this recipe with your friends because all of you here are our juice and if we feel enough love, we'll sure be making more videos. By the way, if you enjoy our videos and would love to see more of us, then for the price of a cup of coffee you can join our community where you'll get access to some members only extras and tidbits check the description for more details and the link to join please subscribe to our channel if you're new here and make sure to enable your notifications it's the little bell icon so that you don't miss any of our videos we share a few more recipes on our blog so make sure to subscribe to our newsletter too and we'll email you every time we have a new recipe. See you in our next video. Bye!